And we are back with another review. And today we got a nice little treat. We're doing another pop from the Mandalorian line. And we got a pickup from Big Dog Dave Sothin. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review and let's check out Mandalorian with Flamethrower. So we got number 355 in the line of Star Wars Pops. This is the Mandalorian series. Again, if you're not familiar with this, this is the second wave of Mandalorian Pops, which is a lot larger, considerably larger than the original wave, which was basically just the just those top four ones. Um, that's the original wave. And then, well, I should say the this Mando is actually different, but these three are actually from the original wave. The Mando, this Mando is different. He's got a standing rifle versus the original rifle was held in both hands, and then the exclusive was the pistol. So this is the second wave, but they still include some pops from the first wave, which is very interesting. I've never seen that before in any Funko product, so this is the first time. But we got some pretty cool Mando uh, characters beyond the Mandalorian. We got Heavy Mandalorian in this wave, Covert, and then we got the Armor Mandalorian as well. We got the Off-World Jawa, the Incinerator Trooper. Um, those would be the ones that I collected. I kind of skipped on the Client and Grief. Uh, also, the bug droid, I skipped on that. But I did collect the first wave, like I said. But I have the Mandalorian Pops and then those right there. Those are the only ones I was really concerned with. The Client and Grief Karga, I could definitely, and even the bug droid, I can get those anywhere down the road. It wasn't something I, I went after. If it's something like I find a 3 for 27 or 3 for 20 sale, I need a fill-in pop, I might grab one of those. But I will not be paying full price for those. Not in the slightest. So here we go. We got Flamethrowing Mandalorian right there. We got the Target exclusive. This was something that came out on Target Con. Uh, it was Target Con 2020, which was the last day in February. Which actually is today, the day I'm filming the video. But uh, this was something that, uh, in my area... Now, other areas, I spoke with Hashtag Larry. He, in his area, they had more than six... Uh, at his target but my targets all the ones in the area i called the day before just to check uh, they all had six uh, on hand when i called them so i kind of assumed this was going to be the pop that everyone was going to be going after first and i was right there was a line of people outside of target waiting to get in and check out what was going on uh for target con because they stormed basically the uh the store it was just a mad dash i mean everyone who was in line was going for the funko pops and people grabbed multiple mandos they were telling them hey you can't buy those there's only one per customer so it was a it was a madhouse but nonetheless i ended up getting uh, a couple mandos which is really all that i needed because it was one for me and one for someone else and i'm going to be going back again tomorrow to probably grab another one because there was one store where they didn't have the mandos out because they couldn't find them so i'm going to go back there and um, scoop that one up and hopefully I could do a nice little giveaway with that because I would love to give one of these Mandalorian pops away. You know I love giving away these Star Wars pops for my giveaways. They uh, they tend to be um, pretty popular in regards to the people that, that like Star Wars. So it's something that someone's going to scoop them up no matter what. Back around here we got the Mandalorian sigil just like all the other pops in the wave which is kind of cool. So this is the, besides the NYCC one, this is the 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 next target exclusive from the mandalorian line which is really cool and look at that he's got the flamethrower shooting out of the top of his wrist look at that ball of flame it would be neat if this had some glow properties to it i mean if you're going to make something like that i mean you could definitely put the gold the glow flake i should say inside of there i don't know why i was going to say gold flake but um but you can definitely put the the glow flake in there now again as i usually explain in most of my other videos if you don't like the way the the helmet is lining up like that looks pretty good but sometimes it'll be it'll be off and it'll be to the point where maybe you'll see like the exposed bobbly spring or if you want to make it more bobbly you could always just adjust that spring right there i mean crank her down if you want by cranking her down i mean you're cranking her down to the point where now you got you got pretty much no gap there it's almost too low it looks like so again you just grab this little tab put your fingernail on it and just back it just back it up as much as you want and you can basically re redo the head so i'm gonna do it like that i think and that's gonna be probably a good spot for me i think and it's lined up pretty good with the fireball as well so pretty dope on that i definitely like this pop this is one of the original um one of the original versions of the mandalorian because you can see the dust on the helmet he also doesn't have any of his best scar armor on at this moment this is just all of his old uh, earthly colored uh, armor that he has on in this particular pose so 
pretty dope on that. So I'm going to put that off to the side over here and we're going to check out what we got from Dave over here. And uh, again, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this um, Mandalorian pop. So here we got the pickup from Dave here. And we'll slice that open like that. We'll see what we got in here. Let's see, I think there's... Oh, nice. We up some stickers. Very nice, Dave. Thank you so much. Let me check in the envelope. Yeah, that's all the stuff in there. We got a... RG, thanks, brother. Big Dog Dave. Very nice, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Now, I did pick up some prints off Dave. Here is some of the stickers right here that he put in there. This one's cool. It's like Batman. Batman Dave right there. And then you got Bearded Dave. And you got Bearded with No Glasses Serious Dave right there. Let's check out the prints that we got right here. Thank you so much for shipping these out. They look great. Uh, when I saw that he dropped the whole he run, he dropped the whole run of these prints, and I saw that there were multiple variants. These were all from the Bam Horror boxes, I believe. Yeah, Bam Horror, uh, and they're all numbered and uh, I believe signed. Yeah, both all signed, and they all have numbers with the uh, certificate of authenticity on the back right there. So uh, I saw the the two Batman that they had. They had the regular Batman and then the zombie Batman. I said, dude, you got to give me that zombie Batman, dude. That's sick. That is a sick one. So he sent this one over to me, and he sent me also over this Dawn of the Dead one. I thought this one was really cool. This is from the 1978 Dawn of the Dead. This is one of the uh, the cops from the beginning of the movie. Uh, this I forget the actor who played this, but him and uh, Ken Forhey, they both were cops in the beginning, and he ended up getting bit through the movie. So this is his transformation scene right here where he's, he actually looks like a zombie. So pretty cool on that. And then you got Dawn of the Dead. So really neat. These are some two great prints, some nice zombie prints for me to add to the collection. So definitely going to be uh, doing something with these. So I'm glad I was able to pick these up off of Dave. So thank you so much, Dave. I appreciate you on that. So why don't you let me know down in the comments below what you think of the, the two prints I picked up, the Dawn of the Dead, the zombie Batman. And also let me know what you think of the Mandalorian with the flamethrower. Is this basically more of the same with just a little bit of a... A little bit of a flame added on to it or is it something that you're going to pick up or, or something that you went after at target con so let me know down in the comments below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up for more content like this subscribe for more because i do reviews every single day so be look out for that and have a great rest of your day